can you imagine if we all went shopping at Dollar Trees and then met up at a, like a Starbucks or something, sat down, and then we each did a haul for the group? That would actually be hilarious and it would probably be one of the best times of my life. I have no idea where that thought came from, but I have a haul for you guys today and it is it's exciting. I can't wait to show you guys what I found. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a fall, like a Dollar Tree fall gift basket ideas for the next following video, so stay tuned for that. And if you don't know, I'm in the middle of DT week and it's just a week where I, everything's Dollar Tree related. So I will link the videos, I think, what day are we at today? I don't even know if it's day four, if it's day five, but we're somewhere in that and I will link the other videos from this week. If you've missed them, they'll be down below if you wanna catch up. Okay, all so, right, okay. now I just wanna dive in cause I just have to show you guys what I found. And maybe that's where my mind was headed about the Starbucks thing and showing you guys the haul because I would love to actually see real life reactions to some of the things I find. Okay, so let me start off by showing you some Halloween stuff. They put out Halloween garlands this year. I've never seen Dollar Tree put this out. This is awesome. So this one has white, orange, and black ghosts from what it appears to be. And then they're on a black ribbon. So that would be really fun. I love this one. I think the skeleton ones are super cute. They're just black and white. This one, if out of all of them, I feel like looks more expensive than a dollar. And then you have the black cat, which I think on this one says Happy Halloween. I think, yeah, cause you can kind of see letters here. So I can't wait to decorate with these. There will be a decorate with me video. I also picked up some of these witches hats. I have three of them in here, but they're kind of just stacked on each other. I'm gonna give them a little makeover, but I thought that the template of this hat is gonna be really easy to work with. So I got those. All right, um, because I'm gonna be doing those Dollar Tree fall gifts that you're gonna see um, for DT Week, I got a couple of things. So you're probably gonna see these items again if you decide to watch that video. So obviously if you watch that video, you're gonna see these items again. And what am I even saying? Okay, so I picked up some coffee. This is instant coffee. And it comes in a lot of different packaging, but I really liked the glass packaging of this. I thought it was really pretty. I picked up some bubble sticks. Dollar Tree has amazing stuff for like party um, supplies and um, party favors and things like that. And I got some orange magnets. And I found these, these are party favors as well. You get eight pieces, three plus. It looks, it appears to be stencils. It doesn't really call out what they are, but it just looks like stencils to me in it. And rulers. It doubles as rulers too, Can I? because I can kind of see the, right there. Sorry, I keep turning it. There you go. So that's really cool. I also got, look at this, fashion nail file. This is a must. And look, it's got that leopard. This print is very trendy, very popular right now. I even love the brown translucent container that you can put your little nail file in, throw this in your purse. This is the chicest pattern I've seen Dollar Tree put out. So when I saw it, I was there for it. I got some orange sticky notes, nothing that over the top. And then I picked up more party favors and they're the little rings that you put on and then they have little googly eyes. I think they might have come in other colors, but this packaging only had the two. And they have new bath bombs out. They have like a little galactic theme. So this one is a three pack and you can smell it. Like I can smell it outside the packaging and it is Starry Sky tells you the name right there. So I thought that was really awesome. And I also picked up a fizzing bath bomb, the vanilla and cocoa butter from the Bolero collection. 
All right, let's get into some giant coloring books. They're not even gonna fit in the frame. Okay, yeah, they will. Look how huge this is. I've never seen giant coloring books like this. I instantly thought of my niece, so I'm gonna bring these over. Figured it will, it will be easier for her since she's not even two yet to have a wide surface to kind of color on. And I love the little theme. So this one is like an under the sea theme. So adorable. I cannot wait to bring these to her and see her face. Here is this one. Just this little, like a bug story kind of thing. Isn't this fabulous for a dollar? Like, are you kidding me? Ooh, are those stickers? Page of, of stickers. Here's this one, which I thought was really cool because it gave me that Lion King, you know? There's even some like puzzles and activities to do. I know you can't really see that. These are just so big, like I don't even know how to like flip through these. But you kind of get the gist. This one seems to be more of an activity book. But how fun is that? Includes 24 stickers as well. Oh, is that not amazing? I mean, for the stickers alone. And then here's this one, which is probably my favorite. Looks like the three little bears. Oh my gosh. This one also has stickers. I bet they all do. And then... I'm not sure if I, I flipped through this pretty quickly off camera to see if I could find the, the cover art to see if you could color that, but it's, I don't think it's in there. So unless I missed it, but I think that's odd. And some of the stuff doesn't really match up with this. So that's slightly disappointing, but still I really love the cover of this. And I love how giant these pages are. It's just crazy for a dollar. I still think it was a great find. Oh, wait. Here are the other bath bombs, by the way. I got Galactic Vanilla Berry. So you get three in those as well. All right, now let's look at this. I Okay, so what are we looking at here? For starters, this is Herbal Essence at Dollar Tree for a dollar. You get zero parabens. Um, it's a volume, it's in the shower foam conditioner. This is basically, this is just conditioner, but in a foam format. So I think that's crazy. I've never even seen this at the store at all. So I didn't know there was like a foaming conditioner, but you would use it just like you would a regular conditioner in the shower. You would let it absorb into the hair and then you'd rinse off and move on. This one is a blue ginger. So you see, you get the different options. These were the only two that I found from Herbal Essence, so I don't know if there were other options to choose from, but I was shocked when I saw those. Okay, I also found, ta-da, aren't these cute? I'm just, I am, I'm loving all things leopard right now. So I found the eye mask. And then I thought this was new. It's an electronic nail kit. Look at that. I don't know how well it works, but you it looks like you get a buffer and a nail file if this thing would focus. There we go. You get a cuticle pusher, a buffing tool, and a shaping tool. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know that batteries are included, but um, this was a dollar. I, got, I don't even know what to say. I picked up some more party favors. These are the Halloween sticker boxes. How cute are these? And these are really fun. They come with a bunch of little stickers in each of these boxes. So if you're doing some sort of gift for your your child's classmates, um, this is a good for your buck because you get 18 pieces for a dollar in here. So if you want to put like a little goodie bag together and send them off to school so they can give them to their friends, this would be a cute idea to put in there. Then I found this little guy. And again, you will see how I use all of this in the um, fall gift basket that I'm gonna do. And then I found something new, an under eye massager. What? I have never seen this at Dollar Tree before. They came in like a purple 
and a green. I'm not sure what other color. They were pastel, so it was really nice. But I can't wait to use this. And you just use this on a cleansed, dry face, and you gently glide the steel ball underneath and around the eye area for cooling relief. For an added spa experience, apply your favorite eye moisturizer or serum before using the massager. I'm excited. I can't wait to try that out. I'm back to more foam conditioners. It must be a thing. Here's the Pantene version. What? I, I haven't seen this either. I've never seen foam conditioners before. I usually have my set of shampoo that I always get. So I never really pay attention to anything that's new that comes out, but Pantene foam conditioner this one is a breakage defense and this one is a classic clean and then you use it the same way it gives you the instructions on the back like are you kidding me that's just at the Dollar Tree by the way I did not get this at Walmart all right then I picked up some of the decorative shred this stuff is actually pretty awesome you guys and it's very trendy and using it in packaging gifts and gift baskets um, so I got some orange and then look at this one. Does that not give you fall feelings all day, all night? Just love it. Okay, then I picked up these little picks of the scarecrows. Look at that. How cute are they? I w wish they had different colored hats. I went through all of them and they, uh, I only saw the, the two. I picked up a coffee mug. This isn't anything new. I think this has been around for a while now, but it says first coffee, then adulting. I really wish they would come out with some cute fall mugs, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. I got some coffee mate it in hazelnut. I also got some ginger snacks. I picked up the Whole Blends Garnier like leave-in conditioner. It's like a hair mask of sorts. I don't think it's a leave-in. It's a rinse out. Yeah, it's a rinse out mask. And this is Moroccan. So I've hauled the green one. I don't know that I've hauled the orange one, but the orange one is Moroccan. I also found these soak off nail caps. So much new stuff in today's haul, but look at this. Guessing if you want to soak up and remove your nail polish, it just kind of gives you the instructions on how to do that. You would slip on your little cap. So I thought that was really cool and definitely worth a dollar, especially if you're into nail stuff. I got two of these zipper seal bags. How cute are these? I love these. These are going to be fun too, especially like that earlier idea of party favors for like your child's classmates or friends, whatever. Um, this would be a cute bag to put all the little treats in. You know, throw in some stickers, throw in a little candy. How fun is that? All right, I also found some contact lenses, contact lens case. I've never, has anyone else? I've never seen Dollar Tree put out lens cases ever. And they also had four other or three, maybe three other patterns to choose from, but I went with these two. Just so impressive. Do this round was really impressive for me. I picked up some pins. You're obviously seeing an orange theme, even though I actually did an orange haul, but a lot of this stuff was not in my orange haul. Um, all of a sudden, like, look, they have an orange Sharpie. I didn't even see that before, but you're gonna see how I'm gonna use all this stuff, so stay tuned. I picked up this little index card with the orange notebook and a an orange cable organizer. I've hauled these before, but not in the orange color. You can basically just wrap, like you see here, you can wrap any sort of cable around it so that your wires don't get tangled up. I picked up some new washi. I really liked this one because it has a fall look to it for me. I mean, it. I don't know. I just thought fall when I looked at it, even though it's kind of not whatsoever, but still new washi. I've never seen this pattern before. And the last couple of things are some novelty sunglasses. 
and they're hilarious. They're Halloween and ta-da! How adorable are these? And they're just that, they're sunglasses. They're taped down so I'm not gonna untape them. Maybe I will in a second, but this one looks like a witch. Then you get the pumpkin and oh look, this one's cute because it's a boy and a girl, I guess. Yeah, it looks like he has a bow tie and she has a bow. So this one's probably my favorite. And you know, I'm, I'm close to ghosts and stuff. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh. That's weird, it's tripping me out because there's like eyeballs there. 